And this morning, we have a close-up look at the U.S.-led war against ISIS in Syria. Charlie Daggett is about 150 miles from Monbij, near one of the last ISIS strongholds. He went on patrol with Kurdish forces supported by U.S. troops, who say the fight against the terrorist organization is far from over. While President Trump and Vice President Pence continue to insist that ISIS is defeated in Syria, the front lines tell a much different story, with U.S. forces and their allies on the ground battling a persistent enemy that refuses to surrender. Even as we made our way to the fighting, we were warned that ISIS terror cells lurked among the ruined villages, launching counterattacks and planting bombs on the only road in and out. We're now traveling to the front lines in the east of the country, the very last pockets of ISIS resistance. Now, once these areas are taken back, ISIS will no longer be considered a territorial force here. We arrived at Asharaf to see Kurdish-led forces firing a barrage of mortars toward ISIS positions not much more than a mile away. And nearby, vital reinforcements, U.S. troops and military hardware. Not more than a few hundred yards away is where you find an American position fighting right beside forces here. And they've been firing mortars in that direction essentially since we got here. How important is it for you to have American forces on the ground fighting right beside you? They're playing a very big role, Commander Simko Shkak told us. Their forces have been very effective. We give them coordinates for ISIS locations, and their air force and artillery do all they can. In addition to roughly 2,000 U.S. ground forces here, the American-led air campaign has been pummeling this territory. 575 airstrikes on 1,100 targets during the first two weeks of this month alone. Concentrated on a sliver of land still under ISIS control. Commanders here tell us that final push could take a month or more. But as the tragic deaths of four Americans and more than a dozen others in Manbij shows, ISIS has already morphed into an insurgency that has begun striking targets far beyond these battlefields. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett in eastern Syria.